Welcome to my picnic, or best picnic, number three. I got my basket, I got plenty of red gingham, and hopefully I have you to share my picnic with today. Beth Portman Sings is a music channel, and it's what I love to do. I love to sing. And every two weeks, I upload a song video for you to enjoy. So if you haven't seen last week's upload, check it out. It's a harmony-filled version of the Everly Brothers' 1958 hit. So, what do we do in between those song videos? We come here and have a little picnic where we can connect through shared picnic memories, uh, maybe favorite foods that we have on picnics, uh, some music, and maybe a little bit of news about my music. So I hope you stick around till the end and, uh, and share some time and find out what is in this picnic basket. We have some fresh strawberries. And what every singer needs, a nice bottle of water. Okay, but most importantly, a picnic memory. Now, if you haven't shared a picnic memory yet, please do in the comments and I might include it in the show. Let's see what this one has to say. Well, this is from Maria Locke, and I know she's an ukulele player, so this is pretty exciting. Now, this was my favorite picnic. Oh, how lovely, Maria. Thank you so much. Uh, and she says, thanks for inviting us. Well, yes, I've invited you, and I hope you'll come back and, uh, and enjoy more of these picnics, as I hope all of you, too. Now, she says, I had a great, great day with you, and I love your gingham background, too. Well, yes, I have gingham, don't I? Well, I have to show you something else. I have a lot of gingham. In fact, I have a lot of gingham. And it just keeps going. So I love to sew, and I do want to sew some uh, new dresses for the summer picnic shows I like to do. So I got a bunch of gingham here, as I've got the gingham behind here, and I'm going to have some fun with some vintage patterns I'm going to be picking up at the end of the week, and I'm going to be making a new dress. Uh, this dress I made, um, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment. It's hard to believe it's been two years since this pandemic took over our world. And like so many people at that time, you just wanted to curl up into a little ball and forget about everything. And I didn't feel music at all. I felt uninspired and I didn't sing for months. Instead, I decided to sew. I started to sew because sew is very... It's meditative. It was, I did a lot of hand sewing. I watched a lot of historical hand sewing videos and it helped calm me. And this dress is one of the ones that I made from a vintage pattern that I had collected. And uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the story behind the song that got everything going. When I started to feel music again, it was when the sky was starting to be blue and the flowers were starting to form and just that sense of uh, renewal and new beginnings was starting because of it was springtime. And this song, Under the Blue Skies, formed. And it captures exactly how I was feeling at that moment and also opened up doors to new possibilities in the summer and on with my creativity and my love of singing. So I'm going to play a little bit of uh, Under the Blue Skies for you, which is also going to be on my, my uh, album that's coming out in the spring, uh, Great Great Day album. And when I wrote this song, it just has two chords. And what I did is I captured those chords on my looper station, which is a device that you can uh, uh, record little bits of what you perform and then just loop them over and over. And then I was allow it allowed me to play around on top of those chords, and this song started to develop and form. So what I want you to do at the end of this video is to click on the video of Under the Blue Skies, the full video, because it will also show how the, uh, how the looper station works, and you can it can just sort of transport you to warmer spaces and beautiful blue skies, and again, that sense of hope. And this is what it sounds like without the looper. 
The rain is gone The stormy clouds are lifting And they're drifting across the prairie With the golden wheat below No worries here It's me, I'm feeling free With what I say And where I'll go that video of the full song and see how it all plays out. So again, thank you so much for joining me today at my picnic. Uh, thank you, Maria, for sharing your uh, thoughts uh, in the comments. I really appreciate it. And rest of you, please do the same. You might end up being in my basket here and being pulled out and shared with the world. Um, all I can say is have a wonderful week, and I'll see you hopefully soon, and have a great, great day.